All right, so I got to talk about this Matrix movie. Matrix Resurrections. Uh, I was bored, man. I was bored. <laughs> And it's so, it's so sad to say because I was looking forward to this. Uh, not as much as some other movies that are, uh, came out this year, but I was looking forward to it. That final trailer really got me excited. But the first trailer, I was just like, man, this just looks boring. I have, There was no need for this movie. And I was right. There was no need for it. Like, it was There was some good scenes. Don't get me wrong. And... The special effects were, you know, they were decent. They weren't like crazy, nothing we've never seen before type of stuff. But, you know, it, it was just the same old Matrix worse. <laughs> That's what it was. I didn't I didn't uh, have fun with this movie. I was bored. Like I said, it was not necessary. I will say there were. It was the worst. It was the worst one. Let me just say that up front. It was the worst one out of the three. And they shouldn't make another one after this. It was pretty much predictable, everything. I don't find... Doogie Howser does, is not a... He doesn't give off villain to me. He doesn't give off a villain to me. So that was a wrong That was a wrong casting for him. The, the new Agent Smith? Man, get him out of here, man. Come on. I would have tried my hardest. And it was still, still would have been a trash movie. But I would have tried my hardest to get Hugo Weaving back to play Agent Smith. Like, whatever. Just throw money at him till he's he has no other options but to come back for this movie. I... It's hard. It's hard for me to find something that I liked about this movie. The acting was bad. The one actress, the what's her name? Let me look her up real quick. Jessica Henrik. That's her name. Jessica Henrik. She played in uh, what was that show called? That terrible show on Netflix, uh, Iron Fist. She played in that terrible series, Iron Fist. Man, get that out of my life. I wish I can completely forget about that series. That series was garbage, a complete trash. It was. She was good. And she was, I don't want to say she was, she was okay in this. All right. She, she, but it was, it was an unforgettable movie. I'm never going to watch this movie again. Never again. The first one I can watch over and over again. The first Matrix movie I enjoyed from start to finish. It was just, it was one of those movies I had never heard of. And my brother was like, listen, you got to watch this movie. And I watched it and it was nothing we've ever seen before. It was incredible. Like, it was incredible. And that's a movie. I, even the second one, the second one and the third one, I can watch those over again. But this one, I will never watch again. If somebody has it in the background when I visit, I won't even pay attention to it. Like, I won't. I just thought it was a forgetful movie that I'll never watch again. And Keanu Reeves, man. <laughs> I want to like, like, I do like Keanu Reeves. Don't get me wrong. Like, I think he's in the John Wick movies and the in the, in the original uh, Matrix movies. I thought he was good. Not a good actor, but I thought he he fit the role. Like, he honestly fit the role. Okay, he, he was good. Um, but he's not a good actor, man. He's not. These actors don't... And they play these playing these they play in these certain roles. They don't need to be good actors. Like they don't. They just need to play their role, and play it like it's written on the on the pages. That's it. And he does that. And he he I just like every time he would talk in this movie, I was like, no nah, man, just I kind of wish he didn't talk at all in this movie, honestly. But it doesn't take away him still as John Wick. He's still John Wick. He still kills it in them in those movies. You don't really see him do much. I thought the choreography was, uh, it was just, I could have blocked some of those punches that they were throwing. I thought it would be faster, like in the originals. Maybe I need to go back and watch the originals to make sure that they don't, they aren't the same choreography as in this new one, because it just seemed like slow. Like I could have dodged those punches that they were throwing. There was characters throwing in this movie, like the mayor of Indian. Like why, why? There was no reason for him to be in this movie. No, it didn't add to the story. It it wasn't like a, oh man, really? He's back? It was no need. There was no need for that. All right. I'm going to go off with one of my, one of my, my boys said, Andy, the best part of this movie for him <laughs> was the suits. The suits that were worn by Morpheus was the best 
part in this movie. And I gotta agree with him, man. I was he wore some nice suits. He wore some nice suits, but that it was a. Maybe I just didn't understand what was going on in the movie. Maybe that's why I didn't like it. I but no, no. I just thought there was no need to bring back Jada Pinkett Smith to play the old lady. Hey, that was unnecessary. I will say there was there was a part where they get to the new city. I forget what it's called, but they get to the new city. And it gave me goosebumps. It was like, oh, you know what? This is cool. It is nice, nice city. But that was it. That was it. That was it. And they had the aunt from Family Matters in this movie too. I I just thought I'd throw that in there. I forget her name, but uh, yeah, she was in this. the The one part I thought it was it was interesting was the fact that when they inserted Neo and Trinity back into the Matrix. It they made it seem like he was the creator of a game, the Matrix. I thought that was that was decent. That was okay. All right. But and then it just I don't know, man. I just there's so much in this movie that I didn't like. And that was that was good. That was one thing that I took out of the movie. I thought, okay, you know what? That was that was pretty cool to to just make it seem like he was a creator of this game and all everything in the Matrix was just a dream or, or something he created and it didn't actually happen. But we don't see him do anything in this movie. I don't know if, if that was in his contract. Listen, we can't have him uh, messing with any guns or anything like that. But then I but then I realized that after he became the one in the originals, he didn't use any guns after that. So that's probably why he didn't use any guns for the rest of the movie, the, any of the movies. Once he realized he was the one, no guns were necessary anymore. So I think that's why. And you knew, I knew coming into this, it was just going to be, uh, actually, I didn't know, man. Let me not say that. I figured like Trinity was going to be at the forefront of this movie. And she pretty much was. She was, she was, she's the new one or they're both the one and they both ones become two or two become one, I should say. And whatever, that's fine. Whatever you want to do. I just, it was boring. This movie was boring to me. It was really boring, and I don't think it was it was necessary. But really, what movies are necessary? Like there, I can't really. No movies are necessary. So, if somebody says like I just did, it wasn't necessary. No movies are necessary. So they took a chance, and to me, it was just a whole bunch of stuff thrown in, and it really didn't. It really didn't jive with me. It really didn't jive with me. So really, all Neo did was use his his force field palms, his his atomic palms. I think the the best part of the of the movie was the fight with Morpheus in the you know in the building that they were in. I, I don't even know what it's called. The, you know the fight they had. And that was that was a decent moment. I, I kind of like that fight. But again, like, it was just slow. And the originals, like I said, I need to go back and see. It just seems like the 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 throwing of the punches was a lot faster. The the blocking of the punches and all that stuff. The choreography was a lot faster in the old movies. This movie, it just seems slow. Like I said, I could have blocked the punches that were thrown. And I don't know what it was. <sighs> tell me. Tell me in the comment section. Am I just seeing things? Was it the same as the original movies? Because it didn't seem like it. And it just seemed like there was so much at stake in the originals than in this movie. Like it just didn't see, you don't really, you didn't really care about, that's another thing. I didn't care about any of these characters, none of them at all. The one characters that I did care about were the, the actual machines, the machines I cared more about than the actual people that were in this and nobody died. No characters died. None. I didn't care about not one character in this movie except for the machines. They were cute. The cute machines that were helping out. I'll t I would have took one of those. I care more about those than the actual people in this movie. I didn't care about any of these characters. Not even Neo, honestly. Not Neo, not Trinity, not anybody. None. I thought it was just, it was a mess. It was, it was terrible. It was terrible. All right. And I will never watch this movie again. Never. We bring back the first one. I'll, I'll watch that one again. I might watch this after. I might watch that after I do this review, after I finish this and upload it, because 
That movie's great. But this movie was garbage. Let me know what you thought of this in the comments below. I don't want to keep bashing it because I can go on for another, you know, two minutes. Because <laughs> I just, it was, it was bad. It was bad. I was bored. And I wouldn't recommend you watch this. Actually, you know what? If you have HBO Max, take a look at it. It's, it's long too. That's another thing. It's a long movie. It's over two hours. Two hours and something. Two hours and something minutes. I don't remember exactly how long it is. But it's long. It's a long movie. So make sure that unless you have two hours to spare of your life, which I don't re recommend, go ahead. And another thing, it's like HBO Max. They put it on HBO Max. Thank you. Thank you for that. Because I didn't have to go to the movie theater to see this. I was able to just watch it in the comfort of my own home. And, you know, distractions here and there. I didn't care about distractions for this movie i was just you know on my phone uh texting and replying to comments from other videos which i appreciate but this this is this is terrible this was terrible don't watch it no watch it go ahead let it have your own opinion you know draw up your own opinion and let me know in the comment section what you think i thought it was the worst out of the whole uh matrix series I will call it now because it's not a trilogy anymore. So, and, and I don't think it's going to get another movie. I don't think it's going to have another movie. I think that was it. This was your last chance at bringing the matrix back. And I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to get a sequel. I don't think it needs a sequel. I think that's it. I think that is it. And shout out to the machines in this, because that was the best part of this movie. The machines, that were helping out. That was it. So thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Twitch.tv slash trending lightly if you want to catch me live Tuesdays and Thursday nights. I'm always there. No, I'm not. I, you know, I, tonight is, come on. I can't do it tonight. But Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do stream on Twitch. I love you guys. Twitter. TikTok, Instagram, all those links are in the description below. If you want to follow me on those platforms, I really do appreciate it. Let me know what you thought of this movie in the comments below. Is it one of your favorite Matrix movies? Is it one of your worst? Would you not ever watch it again? Have you watched it? Let me know what you think. Because I thought it was forgettable. I'm never going to watch this again. Never. But hey, good job for trying. Good job. <laughs> Take care, guys. I love you. Stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.